What a beautiful day in North Alabama this Saturday. I was able to get out for a few minutes and go to a few garage sales near our home. It's getting that season, y'all. And I was looking mainly for jewelry, but I found these really awesome cufflinks um, from an older couple, precious older couple. I believe um, the gentleman whose house I bought them from may have been a pharmacist because as you'll see in here, there were several um, that were very pharmaceutical in nature, apothecary um, style. There were several that were these Mexican silver. It said made in Mexico on the back in 925. All of these were vintage. Um, there were several by the brand Swank, um, like these red cabochon ones right here. There were those, and I think there was a pair of blue ones, and maybe like a button cabochon style, um, also by Swank, that was a deep red color. They were just really, really pretty. And when I picked them up and looked in the bag, I could tell that they were all vintage, and I could see some of the sign, the signings on the back, the markings, some that were silver, March 925, and then some that were gold-plated. And I was just really excited to pick them up because... My son absolutely loves collecting these. There's a set. It was a three-piece set by Cremants, I believe is how you pronounce it. Um, K-R-E-M-E-N-T-S or T-Z, excuse me. I think it's um, it was a 1950s set. There's another one as well, also signed, made in the USA. Um, and I believe that's a little onyx there on the side, a little onyx accent. Those are really sharp. I think there was probably... There was at least 20 pairs. I should have counted them. Look at these, these snow skiing ones. Those are super cool. Very heavy duty. Also 1950s. Um, and there was a couple pairs in here that I ended up looking up that were 1940s as well. Some very mid-century modern pieces. Look, look at those. Oh my goodness. With the little starburst. Those were, those were fantastic. And they were so heavy. I loved the look of those. I found this um, three-piece set with an S on it looked those up. They were 1950s as well. It came with the tie bar, the tie clip, as well as both cufflinks. So I was really tickled about that. And those are actually going as a gift to a friend whose last name begins with an S that my son really admires. And he was excited to get those for him. Then I found these really neat ones with um, a wooden accent through the center. They were actually not too heavy, but also um, gold plated. And then, see, these are the apothecary, um, what's the word I'm looking for? A mortar and pestle. And um, there were some of these in pewter, and I believe that had a tie clip with it as well to match it. Um, there were some in pewter, there were some in sterling, and there were some in a gold tone that I just thought they were really neat. And I believe it had an inscription on the bar that said um, something to... Uh, like, I think it said his, his Lord something on the actual tie bar, on the top of the tie bar. I'll have to look that back up and find, but it was the brand. It was the, the marking that was on the tie clip. Um, I can just try to sort all of these out, but then you see there's more of the apothecary style ones, the mortar and pestle. Got those all together. Then I saw these triangle ones with the line detail across them. Those um, were marked Spidel or Spidel also made in the USA. Um, and then there's more <laughs> with the mortar and pestle. Very cool. Those last silver ones right there were marked sterling silver as well. Those need to good polishing, um, but great condition on all of these. And overall, just such a really, really neat find. I just couldn't believe that all of the matches were there and some were even a three piece set very, very cool find. I don't know which pair are your favorite. There's those, the button cabochon ones that I was mentioning earlier. I had so much fun looking at these and my son has looked at them over and over again, picking out his favorites um, and which ones he was going to wear with his shirt. It's at church on Sunday. So thank y'all for watching. I wish I'd found more jewelry this but these were such a great find as well. Thanks for shopping with me today. See you next time.